Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm over here getting unloaded. <clears throat> Guess they're building a self storage facility. I'm down here in San Antonio. Building self storage over there. Behind this Valero, so we got to it up and stay the road here. So we're getting unloaded right now. I'll take this time, though, to show y'all my toolbox. I bought one of these, uh, Minimizers. Well, first, let's talk about these brackets. You always see I got those uh, those Merit no drill brackets on here, which I'm pretty happy with. Y'all see how they're designed with the aluminum, uh, that thick aluminum billet piece right there. And then you got your bolts, some hold down bolts. They, when they sell them, they don't have any holes drilled in them. So you're gonna have to uh, kind of line this stuff up as best as you can. When you gotta drill your holes in this uh, upper arm of the bracket. You don't want it to be, you want to have a little bit of gap between that bolt and your frame rail. So they're gonna be just slightly like that, you know. You can get them straight, but you know, you kind of want to make sure they're just don't want to rub on the frame rail. You don't want to use your frame rail. And then uh, you just look on the back. So that's about it. You just got to be careful when you're marking these holes to drill them. But uh, you know, pretty robust. Okay. In the box. I got a uh, 20 ton jack in there. About 150 feet of hose, which I had to go on and give me a real. And uh, yeah, a bunch of other stuff, straps and stuff like that. So this is the, the 50 inch one. It's 50 inches wide. Uh, it's not as tall. I think the Merit, the, uh, the Merit aluminum was a little bit about that tall. So that's the only thing. I kind of wish this was a little bit taller. But other than that, pretty been pretty heavy, but I've had it on here for about uh, about three weeks. And uh, you know, it ain't perfect, but I kind of got it because I was gonna plan on uh, planning on putting the uh, the black uh, deflector wheel covers over my wheels. So I kind of wanted to go with a black box. And y'all can get these in any color you want them, man. They sell them. I think red, yellow, white, black, whatever color you want. But uh, this is the color that the utility trainer around me had, so I bought it. Uh, it costs like $700, so it's not cheap. It costs as much as one of the aluminum merit boxes, so. Um, but it seals up pretty good. You know, it's got, it's got the rubber seal all the way around it. One thing I wish it had, I wish it had a complete crossbar lock system to go all the way across. It only locks right here in the middle. I wish it was, I wish it had that. That would have been nicer if it would lock on the these on the side right here to clamp it shut. So I kind of think they could have done better than that for $700. And uh, you know, once you uh, turn the key, you can't pull the thing out of there to unlock it. It's got a secondary pop out for a padlock if you want to use it. The way this one's designed, the, 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 the back of it, the bottom, is the same as what you see on the top here. And then one of the front, they sell a they sell a bracket, you know, the uh, actual minimizer bracket, which is probably about that wide. And then it's kind of U, it's U shape. And so when they sell this box, they're gonna fifty inches only when they sell it like that, where you're gonna have a, a crossbar that goes up under it, and it's gonna bolt into their bracket. But since I didn't use their bracket, I had to just get a piece of angle iron. Y'all can see down there. When I drilled the holes to mount the box into these brackets, I just put a piece of angle iron up under there, run it the full length up under the box. Y'all can see that. To support it, because uh, in the front there isn't really going to be any support. 
because this is where it's the most flimsy. But, you know, other than that, I'm going to say the, the, lock, the, lock, the lock up a crossbar, the lock. There, I got to cut that off of there still. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. It seals up pretty tight. Like I said, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but that's really my only complaint. There's a look at the other bracket right there. Here's the leak, you're done unloading me. Yeah, right, start heading on back toward the house. Get something else. Oh, that's it, y'all take care. And we'll talk to y'all later on.